But we explain the how mind is. The mind is like a monkey. There's a five windows. One house, there's a five windows. There's a one monkey in that house. That monkey can the jump and pops up any of that windows. But there's only one monkey. So exactly like we have one mind, but it's operating with the different part of the senses of the part of the body. Sometimes eye, sometimes ear, sometimes, you know, smell, sometimes feelings, all sorts of things we are connecting. That's what we introduce the mind. But actually, uh, it, mind itself, we are not saying it is something is perfect. But it's many things in these days, people are not recognized mind is there. But people think there's a something is permanent. But I think the mind is impermanent anyway. It just keeps changing. And uh, external changing, the mind changing. And the physical, all the thoughts, the morning and evening and today and tomorrow, we keep changing all sort of idea. But we introduced that the mind is also, it's very important to first part to recognize the mind and also we have to recognize how mind operate and who's feeling the pain or who's feeling the happiness so who decided I'm a sick who decided I'm not sick and uh, that's why it is really important you know our subject to how you're going to introduce and also Sometimes we believe we are not good enough. But that is also we decided. But we introduce people saying every sentient being has we have a, the great potential. That for example, like human being we call precious human life. It's incredible values we have. We can complete we can accomplish so many things within this lifetime. It is not necessary to become a Buddhism or Hinduism or something. You know, it is just, you know, the being yourself and how much you can bring. So what we are looking for is actually we are to, to bring the peace, not even happiness. So sometimes we are a little bit uh, distracted by happiness and we are distracted by suffering. Of course, nobody wants suffering, but any suffering comes, everybody says, why am I suffering? And everyone is happy. They don't ask the question, why am I happy? Because you enjoy with that. Isn't it? But it, there's about the reason. We are both, there's about the history. You know, there's always there's meaning behind that. So, but we are looking for peace, the great peace. So we are not looking for happiness. So if you demand of the happiness, and if you head it to the suffering or the this you know unpleasant things, this is still we call it's a hope and a fear. So anyway, it is very strongly we are controlling the physical body. It depends on the mind, definitely, no doubt. This is what we described. It. But you can experiment too, how it, is, how it works. But maybe it's complicated to, to understand how the mind is started and how the mind is functioning. <coughs> so everybody can say there's a mind, but how it works. But we can say, what we can introduce you, the mind is, is already, we have a kind of different kind of, we can say, there's something nice, wonderful, and you distract it, isn't it? That is also mind. And there's something unpleasant things you had it, that is also mind. And there's something neutral, and that is also ignorance. So all of this we call, anyway, part of the thought. And that is because it's come from mine anyway.